In terms of how we practice breaking of bread here, you know, it would be known by most, uh, I guess, Christians as an open communion, meaning that, you know, we allow any believer that is in our presence today to partake of the uh, bread and the wine. But, you know, what's funny about this, this, uh, this thing of open communion, in reality, it's a closed communion. And what do I mean by that? It's because... You know, you're, you're not part of a church because you're on some members list somewhere. You know, we don't have a members list in our church because that's not what makes you part of this church. You know, putting your name on a piece of paper somewhere or on some database somewhere doesn't make you part of this church. What makes you part of this church is that you're actually here tonight and part of this church, this congregation. So it's funny that those that practice what would be known as um, closed, oh, I guess open communion, in fact, every communion or every breaking of bread is a closed communion because you can't take part in that breaking of bread unless you're actually here, right? And, you know, you may be a member of another church here tonight. You know, you may be, you know, you might have your name on a members list at another church tonight, but let me tell you something. Tonight you're part of this church, whether you like it or not, because you're here, right? So even those that practice, you know, what would be known as open communion, in reality, every breaking of bread is a closed communion because we don't believe a list is what makes you a member of a church. It's actually a physical um, presence. 